Hello everyone and welcome to a new show, Get On Extra, where we've assembled the best team in the business to find you plenty of winners all around the country as I welcome in such a fabulous team, BZ, Matt Hill and SD. Great to have your company. All that shimmers in this world is sure to fade. Is that right? Away. Yes. Again. We've started look off at with the a dress. Bang. You Thanks, look fantastic, yes. Lizzie. And you look a little bit sort of um Yes, Fari. Nazario Fari Parisi. Look. Yo, yo, Nazario Parisi, what up? I love the new outfit. <laughs> fantastic stuff, Maddie. You look terrific. Yeah, no, I've just been bargain basement stuff this week, <laughs> but it's terrific to be here with you guys. It's fantastic. It's got a bit of a, like a new car smell about yes, the studio. Yes. It's just, it's going to be fantastic. Winners everywhere, BZ. Yeah, That's can't wait. Caper. Gave the um, melon a fresh shave this morning, <laughs> fresh shirt from the dry cleaners. Feeling pretty good. Now we just need to find a few winners. Yeah, That's exciting brilliant. to find a few winners because we've got plenty of the regular segments, but we've also got some new segments as well. And one of the segments that we're looking forward to bringing to you is the early cash. We love building a bank. And at the start of the day, and this is what we need to do. Find a winner in races one to three. And we're starting off with you, Matt, at Flemington in race one with River Nar. Yeah, so with 10 races on the program now uh, on a Saturday in Melbourne, we've got plenty to get our teeth stuck into. And I thought we'd get it uh, underway with River Noir, who showed really good speed at its last win there at uh, Mooney Valley. I think it can push forward in this class of race down the straight. And uh, for Peter Moody and the Coleman uh, new combination, I think we'll get it early early with River Noir. Yeah, looking to kick off their Metropolitan Record training partnership. SD, you're also playing at Flemington as well. Yes, race three, number five, Orion the Hunter. I think that this horse, he missed the kick last start, got over racing, got held up, but geez, I loved he was strong late. And you know what? From that inside barrier, he can roll forward and he can take up a position from barrier three. And I think Ryan Maloney in the saddle for Shane Nichols, who's armed and dangerous there at Flemington on Saturday, he can run a bottle. Right, he just didn't have time to really get into its rhythm in the last 200 there at Caulfield the other day. He's going to love Flemington. He's well named that horse out of I Am A Star, the good mare that uh, yes. Shane Group Nichols trained. I'm going outside of Victoria. There's a horse that's trained in Victoria, trialled in Victoria, but it's going to South Australia that I'm keen to have something on, and that's Grenoble, who's an import from the Lindsay Park stable, who was disappointing in its first Australian run, but they've given this horse a bit of time. He's had a couple of trials. They put the blinkers on him in their trial at Taraugan, and he absolutely flew. Goes across the Murray Bridge, race number three, first up over the 1800 metres. I'm hoping he can get Ooh, the cash. Bring in a little bit of perv from Thursday uh, yes, night. Yes, to it the was table. a trial perv, and I've Ooh. looked deeper into this race, and I don't think there's too many chances, so I think he's going to be a great bet at around five. Well, I'm looking to go to Sydney, of course, and I'm looking in the early race, race number three, and I'm, this is not just my. Uh, best bet in Sydney early on. This is my best bet on the card all day. I think this is one of the hardest Ooh. horses to beat. Aristonos, are you all in agreement with me? Race three, well, number five. Well, scratch from Melbourne to run in Sydney. Does look as though he's well-placed going to the uh, 2,400 metres. You're pretty keen on him as well. Yeah, I, I liked it at Caulfield the other day. I just yeah. think the, the track and where it got to in the run uh, obviously was against it. But I think with extra ground, and probably a marginally bigger track, I'm yeah. in your corner. And smaller Ooh. field as well. Well, our focus now turns to Sydney, where it is Missile Stakes Day. There's plenty to look forward to throughout the card. We're looking at our best bets from races four to nine. We're landing on you, BZ, on race number seven with Legio 10, who's been racing in Melbourne recently. Yeah, and I think coming back to the 1,200 metres is what I like for this horse. He was terrific in the uh, sprint series for the three-year-olds, where he finished second behind Renosu. He was down on the inside, slowly on race, and he dashed through. Renosu just got a bit of an easy time of it. He was Second to cause for concern last start, he was just sort of hampered down on the inside. I see a lot of speed in this race. Mm. James McDonald could just slide in, get at the back of the field and watch for him to be hitting the Good line down the middle switch back of the to Sydney from yep. Team Godolphin. They know what they're doing. Yeah, right form lines in Melbourne. And I think you're right. I think with the pace on, Strawn Barrier 8 has not lead Geo 10. I think McDonald will find a position near the rail and should be too good. SD, you're looking in the feature race of the day at Rose Hill and yep. you're looking in the Missile Stakes and you found us one. Race 8, number 4 for me at Rose Hill. Now, Joseph Pride gets his hands on Big Parade for the first time. He's now a seven-year-old with the start of the new season, all the horses' birthday. Happy birthday, GGs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. But Joey Pride, how good is he with the new horse in his hands? Eduardo steps in time. Maria Mia, private eye, and think about it. Oh, there yeah. must be higher love for 
Ooh. big parade on the weekend. He had a real good lung burner in a trial. He, Gosh, couldn't, didn't he, what? he couldn't have trolled any better. Well, we know he's where he's going to be. He's going to go forward. Yep. And IME is probably the only other speed in the race. She so. probably takes a sit from that inside drawer and Absolutely. looks to dive bomb him late. Yep. And a first beautiful 80s music reference from you or ISD oh. during Get On Extra, which completely <laughs> el- <laughs> just <Thank> annihilates <laughs> what Lizzie's thinking. But Steve Winwood, well done. Thank I enjoyed you, that. Matthew, for playing along. He's finished out of the money uh, only four times out of 18, this horse. He's consistent. So Very come on. On the parade. Yes, certainly is. I'm also in Sydney with Faulkner Park, another one from the Annabelle Nisham stable, who's done a terrific job. He actually took off 800 from home last time. He looks to get a really nice run in transit. So that's race nine, number 11 for me, Faulkner Park on top. Well, it's time for a new segment on this show. Oh, yeah, hey, on this, show. On shelf. this is an opportunity <laughs> for our team. I still can't I get over it. that. For our team to have a look at the weird and wacky, wonderful world of sport and news and find us a few little clips clips to laugh at and enjoy ourselves. Yes, well, if that doesn't become some sort of uh, figurine in the next few weeks uh, with yeah. Lizzie on the shelf there, uh, I go, hey, now, now, BZ. Yes. One thing I know about you, I've worked with you for a long time. Yes. You love a punt. Certainly. You love a punt. That's correct. You don't mind a bit of danger. Yes. Right. Would you do this? Mm. This is <laughs> pinball rodeo style. Would you fancy oh. standing in the middle oh. would you give yourself a, a, a fighting chance? No, no. I, I, I don't. I'm, oh my I don't think I could do that. Just no. stand still, do you reckon? No, I, I don't I think I'd be able to hold my nerve. There no. would have to be a bit of Dutch courage going on in there. There's no way you could I, but stand I, there with I that. I don't ball. even think that's being a punter. I think that's just being downright crazy. <laughs> you reckon? What about running of the bulls? Would you do that? Um, Depends on how many sherbets I'd have. <laughs> yes. But you'd, you'd work the odds out, wouldn't well, you? Well, like, I you think know? running of the bulls, at least you'd be away on holidays, you're with a few mates, travelling yes. around Europe, you've yep. probably had a, a good time, and then all of a sudden you get roped into it and you probably get yep. sort of down that road and you think, well, I can't yep. back out Knowing now. you, you'd walk the track first and find I would, out. would find the nooks and crannies you yes, could duck into yeah, so the bulls could yeah, go I'd be, flick and I'd be finding one of those little doors that you could hide in and wait for them to go past. Yes, Steve, like your caper, we're working out the tactics. I think with Rodeo Pinball, I'd stay in the middle, I reckon. Yep. Does that bull seem to just do the loop? Little tactic, put a blindfold on and just breathe. <laughs> breathe. What have you found for us, SD? hope, like, you know what I mean? It's been 12 years since this little bit of magic from <laughs> Channel 7. This is a bit of Channel 7 bridge. <laughs> look at this. Amy Parks, live from Amy Park. Have a look at Amy. She looks happy to be at Amy Park. That's very similar Channel to that uh, beautiful <laughs> British uh, television moment where they were uh, doing a news cross talking about a shortage of fuel, fuel shortages in Britain, and the man that was doing the report, the BBC reporter's name was Phil McCann, standing outside a petrol station. <laughs> no. Fact, <laughs> fact, fact. Oh, fact. What about this one, Maddie? Check this one out. This is an absolute cracker as well. Brittany Gray. Oh, Simon. Near climate. <laughs> 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 She was able to take a much better photo 20 seconds later. Okay, okay, no more, no more. Okay, enough of that. that. Enough of that. All right, so (laughs) moving on swiftly, I found something a little bit more (laughs) PG-rating. We're still on? We're still on. Okay. Now, this is uh, Brooke giving a kiss to Clyde Moore, who was able to win last weekend. And look, oh. see, there's oh. a lot of love there. They're very much reciprocating. Yep. And it reminded me of a moment a few a years tongue, ago man. where I was uh, watching a certain Hugh Bowman oh. and the great Mayor Weeks. Oh. And this was a moment. Oh. Yeah, no more. No more. Oh. Did he get a- he busted did. nose from that? Yeah. I've he, seen that happen to BZ in a few nightclubs. Yeah. He, he had, Many moons he had ago. very much had a bleeding oh. lip. There's his wife, yeah. Christine, nursing it. That's me, my arm in the blue. I was about yeah. to interview him thinking he was oh, yeah, going to be was. in the worst mood ever, <laughs> but he wasn't. He was yeah. very happy in the end, but that teaches him. He said, yeah. I don't know why I did that. I've never kissed her in 33 starts, and I did it today. And whoever said jockeys wouldn't bleed for their horses? <laughs> there you evidence. go. You worked around horses for a long time at Lindsay Park. Did you ever think to give one a bit of a smooch? Uh, yeah, but I usually knew which ones to give a smooch. You <laughs> yeah. know, I'm sure you do too as well. <laughs> anyway, oh, well, 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 yes. <laughs> right <laughs> on. Moving on to the Ori Star. Which is Flemington's feature race on Saturday. We're trying to find the best bet at Flemington yep. from races four to nine. And we're kicking it off with you, race four. Can I, can I, can I? This is my best. And you've got each way value too. Cardigan Queen into $6 already <laughs> because Fear Nought is out. Has come out. The early favourite from Chris Waller stays in Sydney. But Cardigan Queen, go back to her run last start over 1,300 metres. She's got a killer turn of foot. But what I love is her seven furlong, uh, seven furlong uh, record, track and trip record here at Flemington. She was second in the vanity behind a very smart horse in Barb Raider. And she was beaten a lip by Fortunate Kiss.
this as well. Over seven furlongs at Flemington. She draws low. She gets that beautiful run. And I love that Ma used to put her away after that killer turn of foot win over 1,300 metres. And she's drawn that four. You're going to have your eyes closed at one stage of the race thinking, oh, no, is she going to get out? But if she gets out, she's got a brilliant turn of foot. She's going to be the peekaboo. Boom, late. She's going to win the last 10 strides. Where did Cardigan Queen come from? <laughs> and your Sunday best also lands at Flemington as well. Yeah, I'm very keen. been racing. Yeah, very keen on Braden Starr, who raced in Sydney last time out. Prior to that was good at Flemington. This is my Saturday best, and I think it's well placed back to the mile, 1,600 metres. Damien Oliver in the saddle for the Busseton and Young team. I think it's uh, well graded in this event. I know, Simo, you were taking it on on Thursday night. Well, but he just needs it every little bit of perfect timing, doesn't he? He's that type of horse. If he gets to the front too soon, ah, if he gets back too far, ah, and he's drawn in, ah. So, but I'll leave that. he has the ability. I'll leave that to the goat. Leave that. Damien you've Oliver. also you know, you've got a, a best bet on Saturday yes. as well. We're looking forward to seeing this mare return. I'm very, very buoyed by the fact that Lizzie Jelfs is in agreement as well, ladies and gentlemen. Very I think so. we, we could possibly have three group horses uh, for the spring racing there late on Saturday, uh, with Braden Star being one of them, Barclay Square in race nine, and then Benedetta in race number ten. It's just too good for that field. She's a terrific sprinting mare, fresh. I think she'll blast down the Flemington Strait. Yeah, looking forward to I'm also with Benedetta. She's not my Sunday best, but she certainly is going to be hard to beat in the last race. With terrific racing from Flemington on Saturday. Well, that is the first part of the show done. We'll be back with plenty more after this break. Hello everyone, welcome back to Get On Extra. And one of our fan favourites is Let It Ride, where we take a tip each week and we try and build a bank towards a charity and we give that money away and hopefully it is certainly to a worthy cause and we build it to a big, exactly big amount. Mm, yes, now, hopefully. we've got a bit of history. Could I'm gonna be. hand it over you to know. you because I feel like you know a lot about what's going on with Let It oh, Ride. The new nuts. So, yes. The new ball. The new ball's mine. Goes to you. All right. Well, so this is this is pressure. Ah, oh, look, you've see, you've Maybe. given me the typical. Br look at that. How oh. English is that? <laughs> Half forward. Sorry, Home. guys. Oh, you Sorry. couldn't help yourself. Couldn't could help you? myself. Couldn't mention the war. Um, well, you've had an interesting history with I have. this, haven't you? So you've been barred from get on usually with let it ride, but I'm going to give you the Ooh. first opportunity. Oh. How about that? Is well, that new show, new me. I think so. Oh, so you're willingly taking it? Well. Why not? Go on. Yeah. Why not? We can have a little Good bit stuff. of fun. Yeah. I do know that start. the social media reaction Come does on, tend to sort of increase a touch when I get involved in this. So why not with a new you know, show? In a good way. <laughs> well, depends what you can describe as good, Matty. But uh, I'm going to go to Eagle Farm on Saturday. So I'm going a little bit out of my jurisdiction, but I think there's a horse here that is set up very well <laughs> to run a place. Only needs to run a place, Zarastro. It's not a lot of speed in the race. Bounce to the front, got narrowly beaten first up the other day for Tony Gollum, and I think it'll lead from barrier two and be very hard to run Only because it's not my money. How much are we putting on this horse? I think we start with a 1,000. 1,000, okay. What yeah. race was it at Eagle Farm? Uh, I think it was race eight. Race, race eight. Race six, number, number two. two. Race, race six, six, number two. Number two. Okay. It's about $1.90, okay. I think there it's about $1.20. Dollar dollar $1.16. Oh, there you go. Right. We're just dollar starting to do this one, something just build Eagle Farm. Nicely. Punters, can I just remind you and uh, Lizzie and Maddie that uh, what Zed can actually do to a horse, we'll go UK style, this is what Zed can do to a horse. <laughs> just when you think you can run top three, look at the second horse, this is the one Zed's on. Oh! oh! I mean... I am a, I am a bad mock. <laughs> <laughs> nearly re retired nature strip and oh, I won't go into all the champions. Won't. Well, hopefully it's a clean slate and that won't be happening on Saturday. Thanks, nature strip. Let's, wow. Fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed we can, we can build a bag. Let's have a look at some of our best bets elsewhere. We're looking for outside of where we've already had a bet and a few of us are going towards Eagle Farm. The first one up is myself with Rainbow Connection. I really like this horse. He's first up. He's actually had three goes first up. He's been able to be victorious in two of those. So Rainbow Connection at Eagle Farm, race one, number eight for me, Simone. Lizzie, I love, I'm going to pick up what you're putting down there. I think this horse has trolled up an absolute treat. Damien Thornton from his inside barrier, trained by Matty Dunn. Race eight, number one, Eagle Farm. He was tested at listed level before going out for a break, last preparation. It's a track and trip winner. Here we go. Rainbow Connection. That'll be I'm with race you. one, number eight. Yeah, race one, one eight. eight. What did Farm. I say? Race eight, eight, one. There's the That's dyslexia all right. kicking in. <laughs> Welcome back after the break. <laughs> you're also playing at Eagle Farm as I well. I am going to Eagle Farm. I'm going to go to the uh, last race on the program. A horse 
called uh, Redwood Shadow, who was formerly trained in Victoria, then in Sydney. It's had a couple of uh, runs in decent grade, gets back, hits the line strongly. I think well placed at the 1,600 metres, first up for the new stable, around $5. Looks hard to beat in the last. Maddie? And a little bit outside my jurisdiction as well, Murray Bridge, Ooh. race five, uh, Zorro's Dream, who is currently the third favourite. This horse resumes and previously was chasing horses like Midwest and It's Our Time in Victoria. Scratch from Flemington Saturday. Mm. And uh, this is a recent uh, effort here behind De Jumbuck. I think this horse uh, just picks itself on paper form, uh, really. Uh, the run behind Midwest, who's a very speedy horse, was only beaten 1.7. And you can see here was a little bit held up in the run against this grade at uh, Murray Bridge. I like it. So race five, number one, Zorro's Dream. Mm. And we'll wear, uh, Simo, the uh, National Jockeys Trust colours as well, being National Jockey Celebration Day. Yes, so he's well placed over there. I didn't mind Rodeo in it, so a little uh, Quinella there for punters. Ooh, I tip that on Get On SA. We'll right. have a bottle of red on that, yeah, I reckon. Oh, yeah, we'll have a, yeah, yeah, we do that. Little okay. red. You were fist pumping before. I'm going to work hand 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 hand. Oh, oh, Jesus, <laughs> sweating up a bit there, too. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's a nervous well, tip, Maddie, that one. <laughs> we've, we decided a team talk without you involved in it. Right. It's oh. not, oh. we know that you're not only a fantastic race caller, a great tipster as well, but we want to test your race calling skills. Okay. So we've got a new segment oh. from the Hilltops. Oh, have a look at this. Now we're going to pick a race each week for you. Okay. But it could be any race. Right. So this week... Oh, goodness, this could be... I, thinking I, on his feet, is he? Yes, he's got to think on his feet. So this oh. week, take a look at this vision. This is a mascot race. Oh, oh OK. So they're, they're away. Uh, oh, there was trouble on the inside. Uh, what's that? Is that a Wonky the donkey <laughs> is pushing through in the middle and out wide. That's a cow, is it? Yeah. Maisie the cow. Ma it's an utter disgrace. Look at that <laughs> after the first 100 yards. Maisie the cow in front by two lengths to Wonky the donkey. And then uh, Roger the rabbit's behind. Oh, it's going off oh! the track here. Look out, Wonky oh! the donkey. He's gone. Oh, he's gone. He's crashed through the inside running rail and racing away. Maisie the cow. 15 legs in front, is going to race into mascot race immortality, just has to stay in a true line in the final few strides. Maisie the cow, it's falling apart. It's yeah, messy, right. it's messy. Yeah, but it'll yeah, well well Good stuff. <laughs> by, by the way, uh, all mascots uh, were okay after that. They were, uh, they, race yeah, there was no mascots uh, hurt in the uh, running of that race. Love you, the way the winner moves. So I want to get to a state. I think we. Oh, <laughs> it's a teaser for later on. That was a dad joke, wasn't it? Joke, yeah. um, sure. So is that sort of what we're going to be doing for the next Each few week. weeks? Right. Yes. So we're going to have like well, a, a kettle boiling or something and have, yes. have a crack at that? Yeah. Well, okay. there's, there's lots of fodder right. out there. Okay. Calling races, calling mascot races. Yep. You're also calling the footy, and we did bring this up on Get On on Thursday Inside night. Inside attacking 50 um, games. What's going on here, Matty? <laughs> now, well, as, as uh, you get a right of rebuttal, yes, because of Richo was quite sort of scathing of your yeah. pie-eating yeah. yeah. um, during the, the footy I'm call. I was a little chuckle. Do you see in the camera? I was fully aware that if someone saw me that I'd be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> no, look, what I did, I made the fatal mistake of, at what's quarter time pinching, the the, uh, pi pinching a pie out of the uh, pie warmer. And as you would understand, sitting in front of me, thinking, oh, geez, I'll tell you what. Here's the glance. Look <laughs> and, <laughs> and I thought, I might have a crack at this halfway through the uh, second quarter. And as you can understand, so Simo, Hawks in North Melbourne, not the most When do they game, let though. you know you're back on? Do you get a bit of a nudge? Or yeah, like... yeah, well, you, it's sort of being like a cricketer. You're on strike and off strike. So I just let Coxie do all the heavy lifting there. And um, those bloody cameras. <laughs> it's it's meant everywhere. to be radio. It's meant to be radio. They and there's cameras everywhere. everywhere. Anyway, Handle it well, mate. But Good stuff. anyway... Um, as you can see, I, I'm partial to a meat pie. Yes, well, you look like you definitely enjoyed that meat pie. <laughs> uh, now we're looking for our best uh, play, uh, this is our drum king, our best place bet. I'm kicking it off at Rose Hill Gardens, Golden Mile. He has to run a place in the Missile Stakes. Matt, you're kicking it off at Flemington Race 2. Yeah, Jiu Jitsu, dreadfully unlucky at Geelong at a recent uh, meeting there. And uh, for Andrew Bobbin, it's around $8 the win, even a chance at each way, but $2.50 to play. We should even take this in like a little bit of a bet with mates. Yes. Multi and sort of uh, have the four of them there. Wouldn't be a bad little uh, place bet. I didn't mind Cardigan Queen, the horse that Simo liked, also at Flemington. Yeah, good. Hennessy Lad here, second up. Oh, I just like the way this horse can get across from the outside barrier and sit on some speed and control it. He's fought the cause. Conce cause for concern last start. Is the right form line? And guess who's riding? Colleen! Colleen! 
She'll get the job done from out there. So uh, second 80s music reference. Race eight, number 10, yes. Flemington, Hennessy Lab. We're seeing a lot of firsts this weekend. Of course, it's the first Saturday Metropolitan Race Meeting. And we're seeing a first for Peter Moody and Catherine Coleman. They're partnering up in a training partnership, uh, SD. And yeah. They got a starter pack uh, for kicking off. This was from Celine Moody. There's a box of chocolates. There's yeah. some <laughs> box of cigarettes. Yeah. There's some binoculars. Some yeah. chicken crimpies, which Don't I think you're partial I to a chicken a, crimpy. I do love a chicken crimpy. And no, a stopwatch and a bucket good. hat, of bucket. course. And she wore the bucket hat with pride too earlier in the week. Now here's our little little uh, <laughs> show bag pack, if you like, for the new crew. <laughs> Coming in on board, Lizzie, we've got you the uh, red and yellow card for just to straighten oh, us up great. a little bit. Oh, oh, get yeah. out of line. Definitely that one for you. <laughs> and Maddie, you're in control of the let it ride, whoever gets the vest on here or there. Okay, so that And was, for ZI, we've got more tips than a L'Oreal marquee, so what about some hair care products? Oh, oh, that How good is that? A little Thank bit you. of hair care product. You might want to use it for the beard. I think that's being spirited. Looks, we got anything looks pretty for pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I've got something for you too, Simmer. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what the, what's the go here. We've got a little um, colouring in book. Fantastic. That's, that's sort of your sort of setup. That, that, that's that in crayons. Will, that, that will keep me. Has it got joined the dots in there? <laughs> Don't go out of the lines, kids. Don't, <laughs> don't go, go out, out of the lines. Don't go out of the lines. Thank you, team. Well, one of our favourite segments, we've got the starter kit, is, of course, Back, Sack and Crack, where we're looking to find the best at double figure odds. We're kicking it off with the back file, the best each way value. I'm at Rose Hill with Borna King. He's currently at the $21. Matt? It's a horse who had no luck the other day at Caulfield. Marshall Eagle, $23. Oh, and it's, uh, yeah, it, it's a charge. Okay, yeah, Borna King for me, second up, 1,800 metres. Get the O'Hara for Chris Waller, race nine, number 10 at Rose Hill. Yeah, have it on early for me. And the sack file where we're trying to see a horse that will get beaten. We've got Kangaroo Court, who's at the $4 at the moment. Matt, oh, Gemma's not going to be happy with you. Oh, I know. Claymore, sorry, Gemma Riley. Uh, pulled a bit the other day and against a stronger opposition. Yeah, I'm with Matty. I don't, I'm not thinking it should be favourite. Let me turn eight, three, Braden Star. Ooh. need all the luck from his inside. And Crack file, our best of the day. Aristonos is mine. Matt, you're with Benedetta. Benedetta, I think she's the best uh, horse so just about racing on the day at Flemington and should be winning. Bravery comes in many forms. Let's give you a $6 each way all day. Race for the floor at Flemington. Cardigan Queen. You're pretty keen on Braden Star. Looking forward to this races on Saturday. Of course, we've had a look at all of the meetings across the country. After the break, we'll be giving you our best after the dark. Welcome back. Well, we're looking to find a bet after dark where we've had plenty of winners, hopefully throughout the day, boys. And hopefully we can be sitting on the couch watching a bit of footy or something because there's no racing at the moment, only in the West yeah. after dark. Absolutely. Belmont. Me. Shall I kick it off with yeah, me? Go, Lizzie. Okay. Well. So, uh, have a crack at the Stewart's <laughs> Cup or something you know, at Goodwood. I'm not, the fields aren't out by then, but I will have a crack at some of these um, international races. But I'm going to go with the footy with the AFL and the Green Machine. Well, I'm thinking that he can score three or more goals uh, at uh, Toby. The Giant Stadium. Yep, Toby, I love I love Toby oh, Green. He's a hey, why not? Yeah. He's a sensational, Who do you like, Maddie? sensational player. Well, I'm, I'm on your tram. I'm liking the cut of your Absolutely. jib, young lady, because I think the Giants, I'm, I'm going to say it, I reckon they're morals oh, against Sydney. Oh, There's your the first commandments. moral <laughs> counter for get on extra. Well, I'm going across oh, to... Oh, sorry, yeah, Sam, you can go next. Can I go Belmont? Yes, yeah, you can. Five, yeah. six, and there's a horse there called Red 53. Watch its last start. Mr. Kig zoomed up inside him, should have in and uh, it can win there. I'm going to stay in WA. There's a bit of rugby league at Optus Stadium on Saturday night. Oh. Well, in Perth at least anyway. And uh, the Rabbits are playing the Sharks. Latrell Mitchell, anytime oh, try right. scorer. He's He'll be, back. Uh, yeah, he was back last week. First game back. I think he was score on the weekend. Oh. Well, we've had a look Latrell. after dark on Saturday. <laughs> now we're looking at the Sunday session. Looking Ooh, to see if we can find. Yes, I know. I thought you would yeah. be up for a Sunday session, BZ. That's why I'm going to kick it off with you. I'm going to Wodonga on Sunday. We've got a Metropolitan meeting at Sandown, but I think there's a nice uh, horse in a maiden called Over Him from the Shane Nichols yard. Trot up well at Caulfield. Should go forward and be very hard to beat. And then once you're filled up there at the Dong, we're going to <laughs> Sandown for race five. General Knowledge, who uh, is to be ridden by the lane train, Damien Lane, after running a really good race in a good sprint race at Sandown last time. General Knowledge at a good price. I'll be in Darwin on the Froffies. Oh, will you? Darwin, 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 Darwin Cup. Oh, well, hopefully Darwin. we can get plenty of fodder for the Dar for our show firm, the Darwin Cup. There should be some Joe, Simon makes, Cam, SD Cam. Well, makes sense oh, I don't think you safari. want to see that. I don't want you to see me walking around the GoPro on me head in Darwin. <laughs> 
<laughs> what could go wrong? Extra, extra <laughs> read all about it is our next segment. We're looking to predict what is going to be happening throughout the spring. It is, of course, the first day of the Metropolitan Saturday meetings. We've got the Aurea Star. We've also got the Missile Stakes. Busy, what do you think is going to happen throughout the spring? I think there's going to be a headline that we see and it's going to centre around Romantic Warrior, the Hong Kong horse, coming out to win the Cox Plate. Now, they've already set their plans in stone. They want to run in the Turnbull into the Cox Plate. He's one of the best horses in the world. Yeah. If he comes to the Cox Plate, he's going to win. Uh, you wanted a right of reply, uh, so this is my headline after the spring, uh, and that is... Um Knees deep in cash, Hill signs record <laughs> deal with four and twenty. Oh, there you go. Oh. Of course, <laughs> we wouldn't let you go. Fantastic, <laughs> yeah, beautiful stuff there. Ma Eustace planned for world domination. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what you going to do now, Hans oh, Brick? They, yeah, <laughs> they set up in Sydney. Um, They're dominating Victoria. This oh. is my headline: Philly wins the Princess Series. I'm not telling you which Philly, though, boys. Oh well, oh. you're probably hoping oh. it's yours. Would you, well, would you? you wouldn't. I'm not going to moz myself. Oh. SD. Will you name one, please? No, well, I want you to name one. What about your joke you're going to give us today? Yes, I've got a joke here for you, folks, and uh, this is a real good one. What do you call a kiwi with one leg longer than the other? What do you call a kiwi with one ke leg longer than the other? Not even, bro. Oh, <laughs> very good. Was that what funny? a start. <laughs> Not even, bro. One yeah. leg longer You'll than the other. Thank you so <laughs> much even. for your company. Join us next week. <laughs> yeah, cuz. You win some, you lose more. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.